do treści um, referatu. The topic of our report is uh, stability of meaning and connection within the regions of the historical architecture of Ukraine. And uh, this report uh, was prepared by Yulia Ivashka and me, Andriy Dmitrenko. So let me start. In the culture of Ukraine, there are several of the most famous patterns, mainly associated with the perception of folk culture and tradition. These patterns are three domains, three frame, wooden charge tower, among picturesque houses and cherry orchards. A white washed house under a high thatched roof, red and black folk embroidery, the hapak dance, borscht as the most popular dish. A feature of this template is the elevation of the most characteristic or colorful phenomena to the rank of the characteristics projected throughout the country. In addition to the positive nature of such a phenomenon, which is concentrated manner described the most striking size of the culture of the people, it also has a downside. So, in Ukraine, not all folk dwellings were whitewashed under a thatched roof. In addition to three-frame tower-type churches, there were many other types. In addition to red and black embroidery, there was, for example, white on white and many others. The list of folk dances is not limited to Hopak, nor is the menu of Ukrainian folk using limited to borscht. Since ancient time, the architecture of Ukraine has been characterized by two components, the symbolic meaning of main structural elements and, at the same time, the stability of the semantic meaning of the certain forms. The most common objects of folk architecture in Ukraine were folk housing, but the greatest statistic flowering of folk architecture reaches in religious building. Despite the variety of functional purposes, all buildings of folk architecture, in fact, the variants of the building with log walls and a hippied roof. Common was a set of spiritual ideas about the building, which was conceived not only as a work of purely utilitarian purpose, but also as part of the spiritual essence of the world. The whole process of traditional construction, from the choice of building materials to settlement, was imbued with ancient folk animistic ideas, accompanied by a whole system of rules, divinations and rituals. The building, erected with numerous reservations, played a dual role functional, pragmatic, and sacred spiritual. The significance of the latter was to protect against the omnipotence of the infinite world, to create its small model, cleanse it of the forces of evil. The harmony of the building with the environment, the pyramidality of its structure, the use of natural materials, these fundamental features of folk architecture are a reflection of ancient cosmogonic and world views about the unity of the building and the world. So, starting from the pre-Christian time in each region of Ukraine, a list of the main forms that characterize residential architecture has gradually formed. These signs have survived to this day in the folk dwellings. Rectangular one-story building with one entrance covered with a pitched roof divided by a partition into several living rooms and utility rooms. An established semantic set of forms walls also distinguished by orthodox church building. The situation with the semantic meanings of the forms of public buildings was most complicated since the functions of public buildings were constantly changing. Thus, we can say that the architecture of Ukraine, the myth of architecture to varying degrees, manifested itself in buildings of various functional purpose. Myth of a rural residential building in Ukraine. The architecture of Ukraine has been closely related to the mythology and legend since ancient time, namely from the legend of the founding of Kiev by three brothers, Ki, Shek, and Hori, and their sister Libby, who settled on three hills and named the river in honor of their sister. 
Even after adopting Christianity, Ukrainian preserved many pagan beliefs and holidays. This tradition turned out to be most tenacious in villages and small towns, where they paid special attention to the correct choice of a place for construction and believed that this directly affects the energy of the house. From this point of view, the most interesting for us is folk wooden architecture, the most archaic since it takes its origin from pre-Christian times and cave and roofs. Unfortunately, the topic of the semantic content of the image of the traditional Ukrainian architecture today remains insufficiently known outside Ukraine. Also, a number of publications by Ukrainian and Polish authors on this topic have already appeared. On the territory of Ukraine, several ethnographic zones have gradually formed with characteristic features of the people's dwelling in rituals, culture, clothing, and church building. Each region of Ukraine has gradually formed its own system of distinctive features of the people's dwelling. Certain analogs can be traced when comparing the types of houses with wooden churches of this region. In territories isolated from external influences, archaic types of houses prevailed. No, so this is, for example, this part of Polissa. And, uh, uh, and the same archaic types of wooden churches. Gradually, an established type of traditional old Ukrainian house with whitewashed walls and attached roof with rounded edges was formed. Although, in fact, there were much more types of folk houses in different regions, here we are dealing precisely with the myth of folk architecture that arose thanks to folk songs, paintings, works of the classics of literature, and above all, and first of all, Mikola Vor. This myth, as a whole accuracy reflects the unity of the basic principles of traditional house. Common features and elements of the construction of the house were, first, the same principle of building a plan. Second, the same location in the interior of the stove, table, windows, doors. Third, unity of structural and constructional means inherent in wooden construction. Many folk signs, legends, and beliefs are connected with the construction of traditional houses. Virtually all the main elements of the building, the threshold, the swallow, this is floor in main building, the stove, the number of windows, etc., are associated with certain beliefs, legend, or rituals. Too often, beliefs play the role of rationalization to